Hey guys, today we are going to look at writing exponential functions from graphs. We're going to answer the question, how do I write the equation of an exponential function from a graph? So remember, exponential functions are in the form y equals a times b to the x. a is the y-intercept, which is where the graph intersects the y-axis, and b is the growth or decay rate or the common ratio. So let's talk about how to identify these things in order to write exponential functions from graphs. So the first thing you're going to do is identify that y-intercept or where the graph crosses the y-axis. This is the a value in the equation. And then this is probably the most complicated part just because you have to pay really close attention to the details. You're going to find the common ratio by figuring out the y value, what the y values are being multiplied by. You can do this by picking two consecutive coordinates and dividing y2 divided by y1. This is the b value in the equation. Sometimes I find it helpful to make a table for this step because on a graph, it's a little bit difficult to keep straight of the y values and what order they're in. So if we make a table, then we can label them y1 and y2, and that will help us whenever we're finding that b common ratio. Then we're going to check a and b for reasonableness and we'll substitute them in to the function. So let's look at number one. Let's start with the y-intercept. That is three. And then I need to find b by doing y2 divided by y1. The y-intercept is a good point to use because you already identified that. And then we have to do consecutive points. So I either need to use the point right before it, which that's not an integer point, so that's not going to be super helpful, or the one right after it, which in this case, the one right after it is a whole point, so that's going to help. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a table of these points. The y-intercept was 0, 3, and that other point that I labeled was 1, 6. So there's my two consecutive points. So three would be y1 and six would be y2. So to do y2 divided by y1, I would do six divided by three, which is two. Which this would be a growth rate since it's bigger than one, which makes sense since our function is growing. So now I have a and b, so I can write my equation. It would be y equals three times two to the x. Okay, let's look at the second one. So y-intercept is 4, and then I'm going to find b by doing y2 divided by y1. So I need to find two consecutive points. So I already have the y-intercept, 0, 4, and I can either use this point right below it or this point right above it. I'm just going to use this one right here, 1, 2. So I have the point 0, 4, and the point 1, 2. So that means 4 would be y1, and 2 would be y2. And I'm going to do 2 over 4 to get the common ratio. It sim simplifies to 1 half. So I get the equation y equals 4 times 1 half to the x. Okay, number three, let's start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at one. And then to find b, I will do y2 divided by y1. I have a point with the y-intercept, and the point right after it is one, three. So let's make our table. Now I get zero, one, and one, three. So y1 is 1 and y2 is 3. So I will do 3 over 1 to get the common ratio, which is just 3. So my equation where a is 1 and b is 3 would just be y equals 3 to the x. When the y-intercept is 1, we don't have to put 1 times 3. All right, next one, our y-intercept is 8. And then to find the common ratio, I will do y2 divided by y1 with two consecutive points. So I have the point with the y-intercept, 0, 8, and then it looks like the point after that is 1, 2. So I'm going to set up a table with the point 0, 8 and 1, 2, and there is y1 and y2. So when I do y2 divided by y1, I will get 2 over 8, which simplifies to 1, 4. 
So then our equation is y equals 8 times 1 fourth to the x. Okay, number 5, our y-intercept is 5. And then I cannot use the point right after it this time because my graph doesn't go that far. So let's see if I can use the point right below the y-intercept, which it looks like I can, negative 1 and 2. So just be careful how you set up your table this time. That negative 1, 2 point is going to come first. And then the y-intercept at 0, 5. So for B, I will find y2 divided by y1, and I'll find it by doing 5 divided by 2, which does not simplify. If you wanted to change it to a decimal, you could, but I'm going to keep it as a fraction. So my equation for this exponential function would be y equals 5 times 5 halves to the x. All right, and last graph, our y-intercept is 1. And the point right after it is not going to be a good point to use since it's not an integer. Let's see if the point right below it is better. It is. So to find b, I will do y2 divided by y1. So let me make my table with those two consecutive integer points. That first point will be negative 1, 3. And the next point, the y-intercept is 0, 1. So 3 is y1 and 1 is y2. So that means that the b value is 1 third. So that means our equation is y equals 1 third to the x.